Welcome back, YouTubers, to our TNA No Surrender review with me, Mr. Parkin, and this guy sitting next to me, MJ. What's up? With the British Fist. Gotcha. Together as two. Make sure you guys subscribe up above, like this video, and get your comments on your thoughts down on the show in the comment section below. It even rhymes. And please make sure you contact us in the links in the Scrooge box below. Yes, so this was the preview that was going to end the BFG series and decide who was going to be our number one contender. Oh, get onto that build later. Up. Yeah. We'll get onto that one later, though. Ooh. To open the pay view, this uh, to, to open up the pay view, we had a number one contendership match for the X Division Championship between Kid Cass and Jesse Sorensen. Now I know these two were in a feud. I really wish they would have pre-announced this properly on TV so we could at least get some kind of meaning to this match slightly. It was a little bit last minute. I know they're in a feud. We know they're in a feud, but we didn't realise it'd be number one contendership for the X Division Championship. True, that is very good. True. Um, but for an opener, it was okay, I guess. I think the whole point of this was for Kid Cash to put over Jesse Sorensen. And if they were going to go for that, this kind of did it, didn't it? I mean, it did, it's basically, yeah. Setting up Austin Aries and Jesse Sorensen the found for glory, I guess. So it guess it did its job. What did you think of the match as a, as a whole? I thought it was pretty decent. For opener, it was okay. Obviously, like I've said before in the past reviews, I won't really too bothered about these two. Okay. It's nice to see uh, some new talent get put over there in TNA, isn't it? Which I guess is all right for the X Division. Next match we get is James Storm versus Bully Ray in the BFG Series semi final matchup. And we had a little bit of confusion here. You know, we thought this was going to be like a tournament style semi final winner, semi final winner versus fight and final winners. But instead, it turned out to be they, that James Storm had to get a submission victory to get to level on points with Bully Ray. And it's like, it really confused me the way they were doing this. They were sticking to the whole point system. And I thought they were just going to do it as a tournament style, King of the Ring style thing. Well, that kind of, kind of, the way they did the continuous of the table, uh -huh. I think it made sense because they were still point close to each other. Uh -huh. So I think continuing it was quite clever. Yeah. So James Storm needed the submission victory, um, submission victory to actually go through to the finals. There was, I didn't, I, like, I hate the fact there was no backstage interviews for this. It kind of didn't help the build up. Instead, you had Hogan and Angle. Could you not say that? you know, the purple on in the show for the actual main event itself. True, and the match itself, all I'm going to say style off style. is the really slow style. But anyway, yes. I thought he had all his mind plan on how he's going to do this by staying up the ring against the ropes to yeah. most of my there, start match. There's a, there's, there's a line between going a bit too far with the old going outside the ring and there's a line and getting heel heat. And I think Bully Ray crossed the line a little bit in terms of wasting time at the beginning of this match. And it really did, it really did spoil the flow of the pay-per-view in a way, I feel. Although I thought it was a somewhat decent match, I thought it could have been better. I didn't expect too good of a match between these two. But for what it was, I guess, I didn't like the finish, man. The, the match was go going okay, and then this finish happened. It was like, why? What I'm going to say is, uh, it was hard for me to get into it after the real, because it wasn't just a few minutes. It went on for quite it a did. few. It did, five minutes or something. And I was like, like so it did take me a while to get into the match. Even when it started to get good, I was still thinking about the beginning we had. Yeah. And then obviously it went through the match. They had a good back and forth action. Good. They had they focused on each other's. Well, Storm focused on Bully Ray's arm, which I thought was pretty good. He needed a submission win, so at least they're focusing on the submission, which was good. Bully um, Ray looked dominant, so I can't take it away from him. Yep. And then it just led all this action led to the end of the match. Sorry, did I spray beer in your face, MJ? Or saliva. <laughs> yeah, you did. But anyway, you can't see me because at the moment you're blinded. Um, Storm accidentally sprays beer in. The referee's face leading to Bully Ray getting the win by disqualification. It's just like really, you know, I just didn't really didn't like I guess they kinda had to do it to set up the points and everything, but it was really a bad way to win the match. And it went for twelve minutes. I kind of expected a clean victory, but it's just I didn't like this finish. I really didn't. I don't mind Bully Ray winning, it's just the finish and the way it happened kind of disappointed me. It was disappointing because basically you have Bully Ray who I think when it comes to the end, you had you expected him to win. Yeah. Because obviously, because again, we would have liked it to be beer money oh, in a match. I but Buddy Ray going ahead, I guess, it made us wonder if they are going to have him actually go through and actually win it. Because he didn't yeah. feel a bit confident about doing so. I still think a beer money final would have been a better story, but we'll go on to that later. Next, yeah. we have the Mickey, the TNA Knockout Championship between Mickey James and Winter. Um, you know, this wasn't a bad match. It's just that. Winter won the match, and it's just you think to yourself, why did you give Mickey James the championship on free TV only for Winter to win it back? Why couldn't she not have just kept it for the whole month? That keeps going through my mind when I see this match. It kind of affects the way I see it. Do you know what I mean? This match, again, I do see your point because obviously they should just left yeah, it over exactly. one side, and build a fucking feud, and build it. But the match itself, 
Not the again, best. I'm I'm a, I said my ban my ban of knockout yeah, matches yeah. I seem to come less now. The, we've had, we've not had much good knockout matches for a while now, and this one really didn't live up to what I was hoping it did. It got nine minutes, but the finish it was really overbooked. Um, and it, when you get finishes like that, it kind of shows you that Vince Russo is still in charge of the creativeness and booking at TNA Impact Wrestling, doesn't and it? And you have that uh, winter Mist. mister into... Oh, fucking hell. I could do it again, couldn't I? You could. <laughs> Same fucking thing. I don't know. Winter wins. Um, it's just really confusing the way they've done this, uh, but I don't know. It's just... Should we just go on to the next one? And match? Mickey James, again, this is not the first time she's had this done to her, and I think she's going to get a rematch again, so we're going to see this match replayed again. Probably so. We are. Next, we get the uh, Devon and Pope versus Mexican America for the TNA Tag Team nah. Championships, the last minute match that was made. Um, mm. The Tag Team Division just doesn't feel the same about Beer Money, but I guess as long as Beer Money are in that main event, I'm not too bothered. It's just, again, with the overbooking, because there's a second match in a row, we got this. The finish came. Uh, when Rosita held Devon's leg under the rope, does that not mean the pin gets broken? Referee doesn't see it, of course. Mexican America win. It got nine minutes. It wasn't the best of tag team matches. I didn't mind Devon and Pope and the interaction between them two, but it just. As all the, the matches on the card, this match I just really did not Lack care about one bit. Even if it did have build, Pope and Devon, they're meant to have a feud yeah. or something going on. So to have them pairing up, going working well as a team. I just did not buy it one bit, but no. whatever. But there we go. That's that's that one for you. Bit of overbooking. Mexican America get the win, I guess, which kind of made sense because they have held the title now for a bit. The next match we got was Matt Morgan versus Samoa Joe. A match I was we were very much looking forward to seeing. This was a somewhat good match. I thought it got eleven minutes. It got a good amount of time. I'm just a little bit surprised Morgan won it clean. Um, I thought it was going to be like a DQ to really develop some of Joe's character and then go into Bound for Glory and have a big blow-off match. But I guess Morgan winning clean is okay. I just I was expecting Joe to attack him after the match or something. I just thought it would be done for BFG rather than the Bound for, the Bound for Glory rather than no surrender. Well, the way I look at it, we've had Samoa Joe who's been losing, losing, losing. Yes. So I think for most people who lose matches, they'll have this frustration building mm -hmm. inside them. And I don't think Samoa Joe showed any sign of frustration in this match. At the end, you see him going... <laughs> yeah, he, he should have attacked him after the match. Or he should have done more he in the match be itself. Good. But sadly, Teenage just thought, no, we'll just give Matt Morgan a win and just end it there. It's still a decent match, though, I thought. I, I, quite, I, was quite, I, got, I was into this match a little bit, I guess. I, thought, I think it's because I thought Samoa Joe was going to dominate. He kind of did. Matt Morgan got the comeback carbon footprint for the win. Somewhat decent match, I I'm, thought. Well, I'm a, I'm a fan of Matt Morgan, but I still think they should have had a DQ end, but Same. he didn't give us it, so whatever. Yep. So it looks like we're going to see this about for Glory 2 then. They could somehow sort of make it yep. carry on, yeah. Okay, the next match we've got was our second BFG series semi final match between Gunner and Bobby Roode. And I think most of the work for this match was done at the backstage interview because you had James Storm and putting over Bobby Roode big time, didn't you? Ever watch a man? Here it is! Bobby, 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 Bobby. And have faith in you, man. Yes. And have faith in yourself. Go out and do it. Bye. I will. No. Yeah. And then right. He went out for his match. And so that did so much for the match, I thought. I thought it did a, a good amount for Bobby Roode's character. And from that moment, I knew he was going to win. But it still did great for his character, in my opinion, just going into this match. That's what I thought. I thought the most of the work for this match was done in that interview. It so did. It gave you a good feeling yeah. of Bobby going out there and doing his yep. best against Gunnar. Mm -hmm. And the match itself was okay. It was, uh, I think it was one of the better matches of the night. Again, both guys needed to win by submission. So you kind of had them trying to work submission moves and Robert Roode gets, well, wins with a cross face in the end after 12 minutes. I thought for the time it got, I thought it was a good match. I think you've got two guys that are similar build that can both work a decent match. I thought it was pretty good for what it was. This match itself, again, Gunnar, I, I still think he's in that growing into Yeah, yeah he is. And even though we've, he said in our past reviews, he's not showing signs of it, I think this match has shown that he's still growing. Yep. And the match itself, I think they put on a good bite for each other, mm -hmm. going to win it against someone as big as Bob, Bobby, and I just thought, well done. But the thing that we said during the uh, TNA is you turn your head for one minute at the end, and it finished. That's what it was like. The finish was not as spectacular or big like you was hoping for. But mm. Well, Rude, when, Rude won by a cross face. It was worse in the main event. But uh, Rude won by a cross face um, after putting on a Fujitsu line by Paul. I kind of expected a bit of a better reaction from the crowd, though. I thought the crowd reaction was a little bit eh. 
But Bischoff comes out and says, the final will be tonight. And I'm thinking, really? I expected the final anyway. I just don't understand. It was a bit weird, but I guess it was kind of hype for the final, which I thought at the time would be the main event. But there we go. The final is tonight. Yeah, I, I, just, I can't believe it. But there we go. It was a decent match. Um, and it, and I've got Bully Ray and Bobby Roode in the final. Roode wins by a submission. So there we go. Yeah, he did it. Submission all the way. Yep, yeah. yeah. so there we go. Next, we have the X Division Championship match, which I thought was the match of the night. Austin Aries versus Brian Kendrick. I just thought this was a very, very good match. It got 13 and a half minutes. And, I, you know, the whole point about this is that Austin Aries is now the fucking champion. And I'm glad. They worked a decent match, a good X Division style match, in my opinion. Austin Aries wins. The right person wins, in my opinion. Very good. Probably match of the night. A solid match. Good moves. You do see best from both of them. Yep. You know, I don't really like Brian Kendrick. You <laughs> find a good match in there. Wizard of Oz. Oh, yeah. <laughs> and I say, the match itself, it was a good match. Yeah. I enjoyed it a lot. Yeah. So, Austin Aries is our new exhibition champion. Thank God for that, eh? The only sad thing about this is that it's going to be, like I said, a rematch. So we're going to well, we have a number contender in Jesse Sorensen, so it looks like they're going to do that in Battle for Glory. So there'll be a rematch on the t- TNA which you and then... Aries will win, obviously, because he's the best man in the world. Yeah, there, there we go. go. Move on now to what we thought would be the main event. Um, Bully Ray versus Bobby Roode in the BFG final. We thought this would be the main event just because we thought whoever won this, which was going to be Bobby Roode, we just thought it would be better for the end of the tournament to have it as the main event. So I'm really not pleased this wasn't the main event, in my opinion, especially given the lack of build that the Kurt Angle Anderson Sting TNA World Championship match had. Um, I looked at this and thinking, you've had a monthly yeah, monthly tournament building up, everyone worked their ass off, only to get to the pay-per-view, yeah. and it's not the main event. This should this was the focus of the pay-per-view, if I'm not correct. I should, think it, it should have been the main event. And I'm thinking, the I think Buddy Ray and Bobby Roode, I bet they were disappointed that yeah. they didn't make it to the main event. But when we mm. get to the main event, we we'll probably explain that you could have easily had this mm. match. I'd have been here. I'd have loved this to have been John James Stone Bobby Roode. I'll continue to say this. This would have been a better story. The chemistry between the two would have given them a better match, I think. But they went with Bully Ray and Bobby Roode. And again, this had a really slow start. And it was really annoying because you're sitting there thinking, when is this match gonna when, when is this match gonna start properly? It didn't start properly till about five minutes in. Well, I think it was longer than that. I'm really oh. this match is is the big match yeah. you wait for, and it was just slow. So it took me yeah. again, just like Bully Ray. First match, yeah. I was getting to. Out of the three matches we got at the Battle Royale, I think obviously this is fine. This definitely told a better story. You had Bully Ray telling him to fight back, and he was, you know, taking the chops and really putting across this strong monster baby face character. Which, in my opinion, this match did so much for well, the, the semi final interview and this match did so much for Bobby Ray's main event caliber, in my opinion. Just the way they, they accentuated this character as a monster baby face in this. And in the interview before, they really accentuated his character a lot. I think they really built him up in this. Yeah. And I think Bully Ray played his part being the oh, one yes. to take it all. The one who's going to just go into that match and just accept the lose. Yeah. But the finish was weak, though, wasn't it? The finish was one of those finishes where, like you said, you turn your head one minute. And it was just like, really, I just expected a bit of a better finish. That's all. It was a simple spine buster. I expected a better finish, especially for a match as big as this. Um, all I can say, though, is at least the right guy won. I'm just saying, I wouldn't want the Bully Ray to win this. Bob Roode is the right guy to win. Him and Kurt Angle at um, Bamford Glory, well, we assume yes. Kurt Angle were going to win. So that's, yes. that's the match we wanted to see, right? It was nicely done. Yeah. It just and finished the right way. The emotion that Bobby Roode showed after the match really showed why he, should, why he definitely deserved to win it. But the problem with the win is the crowd was still dead. Yeah. They was, but they're in that impact zone, so what the fuck do you expect? Get the fuck out of that impact zone, TNA, and you might get some natural crowd reaction. Right, shall we go on to the main event? Here we go. The main event. Yeah, the main event, which was built three days before the pay-per-view. Main eventing ahead of the BFG series. Come on, TNA. Kurt Angle versus Mr. Anderson versus Sting. This match got about 16 minutes. I think this was about the same time as the BFG final match. Um, I personally thought it was a, a good match. I, I was I didn't have too many problems with it. You know, you've got an old man in Sting there who really needs to puff up air every sort of minute so it's a freeway match you can get him out of it every now and then i thought it was a decent match of what it was i, I didn't think it was that bad i think the match itself it had action for all three mm. of them you see great spots from angle yeah. doing all these back flips and ropes and uh doing a oh, two to both of them yes you get to see good moves from uh anderson doing his submission uh, his mm. uh, finisher on angle yeah. and then to sting and sting of sores doing <gasps> his breathing and Death lock on Anderson. So it was good. It was good match for all yeah. three of them. It did put on a good And of course, we knew that Angle was going to win this really, didn't we? Um, 
We also expected Hogan to get involved. Um, to continue to develop this whole angle Sting, uh, sorry, Sting Hogan thing, Hogan got involved and pretty much sprayed Sting with all this with all this stuff, and then Sting just gets back in the ring as you do. I was kind of hoping that uh, Sting was going to stay outside the ring, yeah. knowing that if he got in the ring, he was going to lose the match. But Sting got into the ring and Angle won. Yeah. So I'm glad Angle won though. He was the right guy to win, considering we know what's going to happen about the road between Angle and Rude now. Yeah. Best person to have in that match. Yeah, so it makes sense. And then you're going to develop this whole Togan versus Sting rivalry now. What's Mr. Anderson going to do? I'm um, not really sure. But this match kind of did what it was supposed to do. That is to set up Angle and Bobby Rude, and then Sting and Hogan are bound for glory, pretty much. We know what's going to happen now. So. It's all wrapped up nicely. Yeah. yeah so so yeah. I guess this kind of nicely wrapped up like a build, like you know, pre-show for the Bound for Glory series, which is their biggest paper of the year. So. But that, I thought it was a good main event. I, I, couldn't, I didn't have too many problems with it. No, it did its job at the end, so that's all I have to say to it. Um, after that, overall thoughts on the show? Overall thoughts. Well, I've said this many times. I just did not really enjoy this pay-per-view as much as I was hoping to. Uh, the match I would say I liked was the... Austin Aries Kendrick. Austin Aries yeah. Kendrick. And I liked the dominance of Matt Morgan. Mm -hmm. Then it just... Oh, I just did... Just... Just didn't feel this pay per view that much. I don't think this pay per view was that bad. I think that if the BFG series final was the main event, I'd have been a lot more pleased with it. I thought Austin Aries versus Kendrick was a decent match. Uh, Samoa Joe M Morgan was a decent match. There was a lot of overbooking in this pay per view, which kind of annoyed me a little bit. Um, the main event I thought was was better than I expected, considering the lack of build it got. I really I thought the BFG series wasn't as good as I expected it. The last three matches and it really confused me slightly. So for that, I'll grade it down slightly. But as an overall grade, I don't think this pay was. I thought this pay was better than I expected. I didn't really expect too much. It was a filler pay view in my opinion. But I guess overall, I'd say I'll give it a C plus, maybe B minus if I was being generous. Um, was it wasn't nothing great, but it was it wasn't bad either. I didn't think, considering some of the matches were a bit overbooked. Yeah, I'm probably gonna give it a C. All right, that your anything else you want to say about it? No, I'll I'll just wrap it up. <laughs> okay, then go ahead and wrap it up then. Okay, then. well we've had this no surrender. And please, please, please leave your comments about No Surrender in the comment section below. Of course. And this has been it from Mr. Parkin. Parkin. And me, you all know my name. Say it with me. NJ. What's up? Goodbye.